In this fast-paced world, many see life through a cell phone camera. But Bill Elkins has a different view. I used to do photos only. I'd say, oh, where was that? Where was that? So he slowed down. I like to say that I can do a sketch in about the time it takes to drink a cappuccino while it's still mostly warm. And while you might think of sketching as a solitary pastime, <laughs> Bill is not at all alone. He started a chapter of urban sketchers in his hometown of Syracuse. He thought he might get a few artists to join him. More than 100 signed up, like Kathy Wayring. Well, the urban sketcher rule is there is no judgment. You could be a novice and you could be an architectural engineer. Urban sketchers clubs are popping up around the world. More than 200 chapters of artists who meet up to sketch and share. James Hobbs is in London. I'd spent a long time drawing, not really being aware that there were so many other people doing the same thing. Together, Skechers captured some of 2017's biggest events. Inauguration Day, the devastation of the California fires, Hurricanes Maria and Irma. Back in Syracuse, they sketch whatever they want. The corner of a building, a cup of coffee. Selfies? I don't know if I'd want to go to a cafe and set a mirror up. <laughs> but, but we do sketch each other. Artists around the world, together, drawing attention to some of life's finer details. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Syracuse, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.